Hi everyone, this is Ryan. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting default options for a drop-down and a combo box. They are very similar, but there are you know some differences involved here. Drop-downs usually just refer to like a list, like a column list of options, where combo boxes more or less refer to um, records. So you can actually reference a table in it. So there's differences between both, and that's why I want to show you how to set both um, default options here. So on the screen, what we have are a gallery. We have a name field that references the name and the gallery that's currently selected. And then we have a drop down and a combo box field. This will represent the status column here that we have on the right. So if I go in and select any of these, um, you'll see that the name is being updated, but the drop down and combo box are not. So let's go and set the default options for both. So for the drop dropdown, uh, this is actually quite simple. Um, what you have here is a default property and the properties drop down at the top left. So what we're going to do is set it to the uh, gallery that we're that's above. And we're going to use the selected record and we're going to reference the column that's in Dataverse. So it's actually called account status. So we'll select that here. And then you see how it updates to completed. Now with a combo box, it's actually a bit different. And in order to set this, so we do have a default property here, but it doesn't work the same way. Instead, default selected items is what we'll have to use instead. So what we're going to do here is actually a bit different. So as I mentioned before, drop downs reference like a, a column, like a option where combo boxes reference a record. So here, what we're going to do is use the lookup and we're going to reference the account status option set. So we're going to look at that up. And what we're going to do is saying this record dot value. You don't need to use this record, but it's okay if you do. I like to. And we're going to say it equals the gallery accounts DV. So the, the gallery we have above and we're referencing Dataverse dot selected. And we're going to reference the account status. And if we close that, you see how it updates to completed. Now, the one thing you will notice if I select the next row, both get updated to in progress. So that's great. And if I click the next one, you will see how drop down is still in progress and the combo box is blank. So the reason why is drop downs always have to have a default option. Combo boxes can be left blank. But in our case, what we're going to do is set whenever status is blank we're going to set the status to new. So let's do that. So in this case, what we're going to do is expand our formula window here. And what we want to say is if the column is blank, let's use the um, account status new. So let's do that. So we're going to enter in our if condition here. And we're actually going to copy this property here We'll say, hey, if this is blank, we want to show account status new. So to do that, we will go to our account status option set here. And we enter that in and we'll enter in new. Otherwise, we're going to reference the value that's in the gallery on the row that we've selected. And we'll close that up. So you'll see how that is now set to new. So it switched from in progress to new. Now, if I go to my combo box, and if I go to the, you know, the select default selected items here, I'll do the exact same thing. So if is blank, oops, and I'll just paste that in, the uh, referencing the gallery and the account status, what we're going to do, and we'll copy this over. 
So what we're going to do instead is for the lookup here, we're going to take out this part here where we're referencing the gallery's status. And instead, we're going to reference the account status option set dot new. And then we'll close that up, enter in a comma. So if it's blank, we'll reference the new option for the account status option set. Otherwise, we'll reference the gallery and we'll close that up. So you'll see how they're both referencing new. So if I press play here and I go to in progress, you see how they both update. And if I go to the blank one, it'll be new. Now, if I click save, I'll just show you what I'm referencing on save. Um, for the on select property here, I'm just actually only referencing the, um, the combo box here. So I'm going to stamp the, um, the combo box um, status value to the dataverse. So if I click save here, you see how it updates to new. If I go to any of the existing ones, I can change around the status and click save and it updates accordingly. And that's the important part is we're getting the settings that we want to force the users to go down that path where they can't enter in blank values. We're forcing a default upon them so that when they save, it will be saved to the database. So hopefully that will help you on your um, setting defaults in dropdowns and combo boxes in Dataverse.